Um, do you speak English? Little. Little. Okay. Well, we'll just do our best. So you are pretty far along. Yes. Have you had any prenatal care? No. Doctor. Right. No. So you have not seen anybody about the baby? No. Hmm. Okay. A healthy pregnancy is one of the best ways to ensure a healthy birth. Early and regular prenatal care improves your chances of a healthy pregnancy. If you suspect you may be pregnant or planning to become pregnant, you should schedule a visit with your health care provider. In addition to prenatal care, you should increase your daily intake of folic acid to 400 micrograms by taking a good quality prenatal vitamin to avoid certain birth defects. Make sure that all of your immunizations are up to date. If you are diabetic or have other chronic medical problems, talk to your provider about managing your condition during the pregnancy. Attain a healthy weight. Seek help if you suffer from anxiety or depression. And learn about any family health history as well as your partners to anticipate any possible genetic conditions that could be passed on to the baby during the pregnancy. So do you live at home with your husband? See. Okay. And do you have any pets or animals in the home? Kitty. Kitty. A kitty? Kitty. Uh, how many kitties do you have? Eleven. You have eleven cats? See, you want kitty? No, I don't want a kitty. Kitty. You have should a baby. Oh. Ah! You want kitty? In your purse? See? No, no, no. Okay, let's talk about this. Oh my goodness. You need to keep that in there and you do not need to change the litter box or clean the poo poos. No okay? Poo. No. You need to stay away from that. You cannot handle the cat litter. You can get an infection called toxoplasmosis. Comprende? Si, sí, no poo. Okay, very, very good. Oh, <clears throat> sorry. Let's face it, cats are adorable. Who could say no to this face? I can, and you should too if you're pregnant. Shh, go, shoot, go away, go away. <laughs> <clears throat> Cat feces can harbor a dangerous parasite called toxoplasma. The parasite is spread after changing the litter box and accidentally ingesting the parasite, leading to an infection called toxoplasmosis. Healthy people infected with the parasite often have flu-like symptoms or no symptoms at all. But in pregnancy, the infection can be transmitted from mother to baby. This can lead to miscarriage, stillborn, or a child born with abnormal enlargement or smallness of the head. In addition, the child can develop potential vision loss, mental disability, and seizures. If you're pregnant, your best defense against toxoplasmosis is not to become infected in the first place. If you own a cat, do not change the litter box while pregnant or trying to become pregnant. Ugh, cat fur. <laughs> Are there any drugs or does anyone smoke in your home? See, si. Mary Jane. Uh, who is Mary Jane? No, Mary Jane. Does she live with you? Mary Jane. No, no, put that up. It's good. No, no, it's not good. Put that down. You should not be doing any type of drugs while you are pregnant or smoking anything. Um, that puts you at, your baby at risk for birth defects. Comprende? Okay, no Mary Jane. No. She is not your friend. Okay. <coughs> According to the CDC, Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, there is no known safe level of marijuana use during pregnancy. Marijuana and other street drugs have been linked to premature birth, health problems, and possible birth defects. If you're pregnant or thinking about becoming pregnant, you should avoid marijuana use even if it is legal in your state. Tobacco smoke can have a negative effect on your unborn child as well. Smoking during pregnancy can also lead to low birth weight, risk of miscarriage or stillborn, and increased risk of SIDS, Sudden Infant Death Syndrome. If you're pregnant and currently smoke, talk to your primary care provider about options to quit. Remember, you're not the only one smoking that cigarette while you're pregnant. So, Miss Stevie, do you drink alcohol? 
dicho, no mucho. Drinking alcohol increases your risks as well as your babies for developing fetal alcohol syndrome. A glass of wine is fine, but try not to exceed that limit. So, you know, no tequila, no worm. See? Okay, very good. Fetal alcohol syndrome is a condition in babies caused by alcohol exposure during pregnancy. Although fetal alcohol syndrome is the most preventable birth defect in the United States, its effects are irreversible and include brain damage, learning disorders, developmental issues, and physical deformities. Although a glass of wine is considered, in quotation marks, fine, there is no safe amount of alcohol that has been established for consumption during pregnancy. A standard glass of wine is four to five ounces, not 40. Alcohol crosses the placenta and can put you and your baby at risk for health problems. The best way to ensure a healthy baby is to avoid alcohol while pregnant. What, I'm not pregnant. Okay, well looking over your immunization records, I see that you have not had a rubella vaccine. Is that correct? No say, I don't know. You don't know? No. Okay. Well, it's not listed in your record, so we'll have to wait until after the baby is born to give you that vaccine. Is that okay? See? Very good. Rubella, more commonly known as German measles, is an infection caused by a virus. Symptoms are mild in healthy individuals causing flu-like symptoms or no symptoms at all. However, if you are pregnant and are exposed to rubella, transmission of the virus to your unborn child can lead to birth defects such as vision and hearing problems, microcephaly or a small head, intellectual disabilities, preterm labor, miscarriages, and stillborn. Many women in the U.S. have immunity from rubella because of the childhood MMR vaccine for measles, mumps, and rubella. If you're unsure that you received the vaccination as a child, see your healthcare provider about being vaccinated and then wait one month before trying to get pregnant. Because the MMR contains a live version of the rubella virus, you will not be able to receive the vaccination while pregnant, but should be vaccinated after giving birth to protect future pregnancies. Okay, Miss Stevie. I am going to examine you and the baby, and then we're going to run a test on you for C and B and herpes. No. No. No herpes. Oh! Okay, no herpes. Very good. Wonderful. Ugh. Ugh. If you're pregnant, you need to stay away from people who are sick. CMV, or cytomegalovirus, is a common virus that can affect almost anyone and is spread by close contact with body fluids. Symptoms are mild, but if passed from mother to baby, those babies are at higher risk for microcephaly, or smaller head, jaundice, which is yellowing of the eyes and skin, enlarged liver, anemia, pneumonia, seizures, and vision or hearing loss. If you're pregnant, do not share eating utensils or drinking cups, especially with young children. Wash your hands frequently and try to avoid people with visible cold symptoms. Herpes is a sexually transmitted disease that causes genital pain and sores. If you have an active form of herpes, you can spread the virus to your unborn child during birth and may need an alternate birth plan, such as a C-section. If you know that you have active herpes, speak with your primary care provider about your options to deliver a healthy baby. I am going to send you home with some pamphlets and other information on everything that we've discussed so far today. And here is a brochure for you talking about the various things we discussed in El Spanish. See? Okay. And then we will schedule a follow-up appointment for you to come in. And if you have any questions during that time, be sure to write them down and bring them in and we'll discuss those. See? Wonderful. For more information and tips, go to www.cdc.gov slash pregnancy. Remember, a healthy baby starts with a healthy pregnancy. Oh,